kick off then. So ladies, this is a little bit different because you're not expecting to see me this evening. Um, so the owner and creator of the Empowerment Portal and the summit is actually Sabine. But unfortunately, Sabine is not very well at the moment. Uh, she's put a little post here saying, I'm sorry I can't talk today. So Laura is doing the webinar along with Sharon Bowles, um, Sharon and Joe as well. Sabine has the flu, ladies, um, and she is really not very well at all whatsoever. So I'm going to step in and I really hope that I can feel Sabine's shoes and help you out this evening along with our four other contributors to um, the portal. So um, let's kick off. Um, first of all, should we just um, get our lovely contributors to introduce themselves and say hello to everybody? Um, so I don't know whether you want to unmute yourself and just give a little hello. Sharon, if you want to go first. Hi, I'm Sharon Bowes and I'm a little bit different time zone. It's noon for me here in Canada in the Canadian Rocky Mountains. Coming to you from there. Thank you very much. Joe. did you want to give us an intro? Hi everyone, my name's Jo, Jo Soli. I'm a business coach and I use the power of numerology and I'm going to be explaining how we do that later on. Lovely, can't wait. And uh, the other Sharon, Svesson, I love your background, Sharon. It's amazing. Thank you. It's actually a view um, outside at sunset from my porch. Wow. Not, not, it's a fixed picture. Uh, I'm Sharon Svensson, Svensson Hypnosis, and I help people kind of chill out and relax and feel good. And from that, they get amazing results from more money and clients and clarity uh, and more peace and joy. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, ladies. And I am Laura Ash. Um, I'm the owner of Rock Solid. And as I say, I am here to support Sabine. I've known Sabine for a while now, um, both professionally and uh, personally. Um, my background is actually I'm a former police officer and counter-terrorism officer turned transformation coach working in the health and fitness industry. So uh, you've got me this evening. So uh, let's crack on so before we kick off it's really always good to know um who we're talking to and what our audience is so whereabouts are you guys from tell us put us in the chat um are you in the uk if you're in the uk whereabouts are you and if you're in the usa whereabouts are you because we've got um sharon and sharon who are both in the states so kind of let us know where you are so we can give you a little shout out oh right okay so we've got noreen is in cork awesome um and cheltenham love Cheltenham then we've got Sharon from Iowa City in the USA so we've got a really nice diverse mix here guys oh Yorkshire love Yorkshire um oh wow Carol from New Hampshire which is north of Boston oh and she's a contributor of course she is welcome thank you for the support um we've got Lizzie from Derby which is fantastic Wokingham brilliant so we've got a really wide variety um here which is fantastic um so we've got ealing and we've got uh, somebody oh stephanie on the train south wales to london and kerry from oxford brilliant thank you ladies so we all kind of, that's a really good idea of where you're from you're all over the country we've got another lady debris from ireland just a hand in the air um from you guys so that we know what your jobs are so how many of you guys hands up or maybe in professional job roles um give us a yes maybe you're a manager or you're a professional businesswoman in a corporate or, or something like that um okay cool how about um some of you guys are you maybe self-employed you've got your own business like myself sharon sharon and, and joe um Yes, self-employed. So Lizzie's self-employed, Carol's entrepreneur, um, Deborah and Laura both in um, corporate. So, um, so that is learning events manager. That's cool. Um, oh, horse therapist, Noreen. That's interesting. Um, and how many of you guys here are maybe looking for a career change? 
um, or you are in the learning or development uh, sector within HR of um, different places. So Laura, you're in learning development and also another Laura from learning and development, which is cool. Shannon, personal trainer, control practitioner and a musician. I love that, which is fantastic. So we've got a really nice, wide, diverse um, group of people here, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's brilliant. We've all got to know each other. And guys, I want you to interact with this because the more you interact, the better. So the way this is going to go is I'm going to give you a little intro about Sabine and what this is all about. Then we're going to head right into working with the contributors so they can give their um, presentations. Then we're going to tell you a little bit about the power about the portal, the empowerment portal, and then at the end we're going to do a Q and A. So if you have any questions um, about anything, then please type them in the uh, chat box. And I think Sharon Bowles, you're going to pick them up and kind of keep them. So at the very end, we can answer all questions for you. Does that sound good? Give us a well, it's not Facebook Live, so you can't give us a thumbs up. But just let us know. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do the best we can to answer everything. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely will. So that's cool. So first of all, then, let me just um, get my PowerPoint up for you so that you guys can see what we are going to be talking about this evening. So as you guys can see, this is Sabine. And unfortunately, Sabine can't be here with us today. Um, but Sabine is actually the owner and the founder of um, the Women in Leadership um, Empowerment Portal and the Virtual Summit, where she brings together um, like-minded people, like-minded women to be able to help other professional women or people who are looking into changing their career be the best that they can be, become the leader that they are actually meant to be. And today, Sabine wanted to put on a special webinar for you guys so that you can literally swim through the holiday, power up your 2020, meet some you know, like-minded women for networking so that you can power up your success because it's an important time of the year and holidays for women, you know, we want to be able to be confident and charismatic and, you know, enjoy these Christmas parties and this coming together of all these other women is really going to help you with that today. So for the next hour, this is what we're going to focus on, giving back to you guys so that you can really end 2019 with a bang and hit 2010, 2020 because it's going to be a very important year with even more confidence with yourself. So this is Sabine and Sabine is, um, as I say, the founder of the um, Empowerment Portal and Sabine's background is that she has about 15 years uh, work experience as a business consultant empowering women. She comes from a corporate background and she realized that there was something missing in the whole space of being within the corporate space and empowerment of women. And she found that this space was that there wasn't enough support there. So she decided what she was going to do was create this um, portal for women in high position business um, kind of positions and also women who are looking for a career change because it can be really difficult out there if you're in a corporate position, you know, high powered or even if you're going on your own. So it's about that support. She's even created her own book with um, inspiring stories. If you can get hold of one, it's fantastic. All these women here contributed. It's about real women living real lives with real inspirational stories. And based off the back of that, it's been a bestseller, I believe, which is absolutely fantastic. So that's a little bit about Sabine. And you'll be able to get the chance to book a, a a call with Sabine towards the end of the uh, webinar if you need to um, have a chat with her about anything that you've, you've heard here today. So um, we've had a brief inter, uh, introduction from these wonderful ladies who we are going to be hearing from. So without further ado, I think we should crack straight in and I think that, you know, let's invite Sharon on to have a chat to us about 
building team strengths to tackle these emerging challenges that might pop up in 2020. So Sharon, let me um, come and find you. Here you are, Sharon. And hopefully, I'm going to unpin my video. There you go, Sharon. Okay, Over awesome. You. No, thank you very much, uh, Laura. This is phenomenal. I am looking forward to um, connecting with women who are on here. And one of the reasons I connected with Sabine was to uh, help others, empower others to their business success. I've been through the corporate um, hamster wheel for 30 years and have experienced the toxic environments, have been in masculine energy spaces for a lot of years uh, through that time, have still achieved some successes, um, but have found new ways in the last 10 years where I can do it with more ease and flow and life energy that is much more inspiring and uplifting, not just for me, but for the people who are working with me on my teams and for the organizations that I work within. Um, so part of the learning is to, and that, that I offer on the Empowerment Portal as well, is to look at what are the business practices of the day and how do they create those toxic cultures and those toxic environments that we work within. And once we know how it gets created, we can uncreate it. We can create something new. One of the discoveries that I had was um, the uh, toxicity in the environment is created by seven common different business practices that we have in our corporate work environments. <clears throat> These are things like scarcity thinking, um, where everything is past due or um, you don't have enough time, you don't have enough energy, there's not enough people, resources to get things done. And scarcity thinking generates uh, survival brain reactions in the individuals involved, which <clears throat> their reactions then create the toxic environments. It's not um, that people are trying to resist or, or wanting to misbehave or um, trying to get out of doing something new. It's that they are triggered in their survival brain because we, have, we all have a, um, a survival brain, the amygdala, that, that drives our, our decision making. So what if we could switch that and change that from scarcity thinking to abundance thinking? And that doesn't mean that there actually is abundance, but we can change our thinking to imagine that there is. And once we do that, the survival brain disconnects and allows us to have choice in the moment. And the more we have moment by moment choice, the more we can switch it up and have strength of the power of choice so that we can actually choose what we're doing. Not only that, but we can choose to help our team members um, have their choice as well and be involved and included in the conversation. So I teach learning conversation, listening conversations with, um, with individuals and leaders in corporate spaces so that we all understand where we're coming from. And listening conversations can be at the mind level, surface level, then at the heart level, where you're actually listening to what's underneath what people are saying. You may hear complaining, you may hear uh, voices of judgment, you may hear a lot of um, shoulds, you should do this, or you should do that, or you should, you should do it this way. Um, this is the only way we can do things, because we've been doing it for a thousand years this way, so we should always do it that way. Well, then there's, you know, really? Um, why can we possibly change that and what would it do to us if we did change it um, and so it's looking at as a team as a group as a leader of a team or group how do you empower the others on the team to become greater than individuals on the team uh, and a lot of that is first determining the values of the group the team the purpose energy for what you're trying to create and then aligning on that with conversations and making sure that everybody is um, working together toward that purpose. And that gives us energy and that gives us teams that flow. And I'd love to help share 
um, more of that, help more businesses and more businesswomen transition to feminine forms of leadership power imbalanced with masculine in order to generate that flow of energy. Thank you very much, Sharon. That was brilliant. Really, really interesting. Thank you. So, ladies, if you have any questions um, specifically for Sharon, then please just pop them in the chat um, and she will answer them at the end of today. But, ladies, can we have a virtual round of applause for Sharon? Because, you know, it does take guts to get up and, and talk to a group of people that aren't talking back to you, basically. <laughs> So uh, thank you very much, Karen. I really appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. Okie dokie. Right. So let's push straight on then and let's introduce Joe, who is going to be talking to us about something I've not heard about before. So I'm really interested in this. Joe, it's over to you. Oh, hello. Hi everyone, my name's Jo, Jo Soli. My business is Bizology. I use the power of numerology to help you elevate your business success. So I'm a business coach with 25 years experience. Yes, I'm 46, I look 22, I sound 12. And I have been um, working with numerology for the past two and a half years. When Sabine mentioned this portal, uh, empowering women the first thing I wanted to do was just reach out to her and say please can I be involved because since I have used the power of numerology to elevate my business success everything in my life my relationships my bank balance my relationship with myself has improved so I'm going to show you how and I'm going to show you and tell you and explain what I'm going to share with you on um, the in empowerment portal so let's take it back a bit you might have heard phrases like your days are numbered or i've got your number and that's because it's true numbers speak and their language is numerology so as a business coach i connect you to the fact that people do business with you if they like know and trust you but numerology helps you like know and trust yourself Numerology helps you like, know and trust other people, your clients, your team, your family. It gives you a little bit of a break. It helps you give other people a break and you can be yourself as everybody else is taken, as Oscar Wilde says. We're all coded, we're all placed in this great universal plan. If you've got a number, you've got it for a reason. Life isn't easy, but we make it more difficult. When we align to the numeric energies that we've got, life just flows, doors just open. So, what, what's numerology? So numbers are innate, they're deep, they're cosmic, they're fundamental of form, they're energy, they're pure magic. Two and two is four, but in numeric terms, four tells us a story. We have four fingers, four seasons, four elements, four directions, four legs to this chair, four chambers of my heart, four chambers to my brain, four pairs to my DNA, four gospels, four ta uh, packs in the pack of cards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Four gives us structure. In numeric terms, four is all about systems and control and routine. So every number tells a story, like the A is an infinity, A is abundance, A is success, A is wealth. People spend more money having eight on their doors on their license plate, on their apartment. So you can start to see that kind of numbers are starting to have some, some uh, effect. So two and a half years ago, I met this guy and his opening gambit when he was doing a presentation was forget International Women's Day, it's International Women's Millennium. Why? Because we're in the energy of the two. Now, most of us would have been born in the... Um, 19 which is 10 which is one i'm working with the energy of the number one it's very masculine right so in the 19s we just 
it, we went from A to Z, we got on with things, there was no technology, we had Reagan, Thatcher and Scargill, it was very masculine and we got on it. Now we're in the energy of the two, who is like water, it's the, it's the sacral chakra, it's very intuitive, and it's about the high priestess, it's feminine energy. So we are being called to wake up. The Dalai Lama said the Western woman is going to save the world. And the way we do that is through technology. So there's more and more and more women in the energy of the two using um, and starting their own business. So we need support. We need things like this. So our main number we look at, and in the portal, I look at um, your, your life path number, which is taken from your date of birth. You can't change your date of birth. It's impossible. You can change your name, change your name, change your life, right? But your date of birth, I'm working with the energy of the number one, which is all about innovation, independence, doing something crazy and woo like bringing numerology into your business but I wasn't being one I was being a nine which is humanitarian and people pleasing and life wasn't working now I'm aligning to my four roads life is working out so in the portal I show you your life path show you what personal year you're in and the letter of your first name because there's easier times and easier years to do things I'm currently in 11 year, it's really emotional, 11s are always emotional, but because I know that, then I can check myself before I wreck myself. When you see me, J for Joe is a one, and then when you get to know me, it's a one. So there's so much um, goodness that I created in bespoke content for the portal. So it's all um, on there. So to recap, your life path number is what you're here to do. For me, it's the one, it's the leader. It is the um, number that you have to follow, which is in line with your life path, your destiny number. If you've got a number, there's no mistakes. It's how you operate in life and it connects you to what you're here to do. It, it, it enables you to open doors and it enables you to be yourself because everyone else is taken. So if you've got any questions, please ask me in the Q&A. But thank you for welcoming, welcoming me, Sabine, onto your portal. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Joe. I really appreciate that. Let's give Joe a round of applause. I've never heard of numerology before, and I love when you said check it before you wreck it. That's brilliant. Amazing. <laughs> so um, something that I think is definitely to be explored. And I've always said nine is my number, but maybe it shouldn't be. So <laughs> there you go. thank you very much, Joe. And again, if you have any questions for Joe, um, pop them in. Sharon will pick them up as best they can and we will um, get her answered um, towards the end. So thank you very much, Joe. I really appreciate it. So um, next up, we have the beautiful um, Sharon, who is a hypnotherapist. So don't look in her eyes. Uh, <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, so Sharon, over to you, my love. All right, thank you. Um, today, I wanna share a real simple technique so that you can feel good. To me, there's just nothing more powerful that you can do to change your life than feeling good in the now moment. So this is a tool that can help you uh, overcome stress, to bring in confidence, uh, to go to that party and feel that sense of well-being. So let's, let's dive right into it. What I'm going to ask you to do is uh, just kind of follow me. Um, everybody probably has experienced the good feeling of when they do a sigh, and it just helps take them to a lighter place. So that's basically what we're going to do. So just kind of take a nice, comfortable breath. Ah. <laughs> and see if you can't notice you actually feel a lightness probably, even if it's just a tiny little bit. And if we can get a little bit, we can get more. Now, just like you can go to a room in your home, you can go to a thought in your mind so that we can make this little technique that I already showed you a lot more powerful. And I'll give a little more guidance as we go along the way. 
um, that you can go to a thought and let's go ahead and do that right now. Just uh, close your eyes and think of a time when you felt confident. So it could be when you were sharing um, your knitting skills with a friend. It could be when you were doing a presentation, something that you can feel that energy of confidence. Um, and just kind of raise your finger when you start to feel that feeling. All right, we've got some people raising the finger. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're just going to do what I started with, that kind of sigh. I'm going to give you a little bit more knowledge about it. Um, we want our breath to kind of be like an ocean wave. So an ocean wave is powerful, but it's very fluid. So we don't want to force it because we're trying to bring in relaxation, not more stress. So don't go, oh! uh, we just want to have a nice kind of smooth feeling. And when we exhale, we want to just uh, release it like a hot air balloon where you just let it go. So um, for a second, go to that feeling of confidence. See if you can't find that energy of it, that softness, that good feeling. Take a nice, comfortable breath. And as you exhale, just let your eyes close if they're not already and your mind relax. Go ahead and open up your eyes. Such a simple technique, so easy. So I've used this in a lot of different situations. And what my specialty is, is helping people let go of the stress, the anxiety, the fears, to let go of the old ideas and beliefs that are holding them back from achieving what they want. So I use the simple technique when um, I felt fearful about doing yoga. Um, and what I did to kind of boost my confidence before I went to the yoga class, I imagined I was this yoga friend. And I kind of borrowed from her energy and imagined that feeling of uh, what I saw in her athletic and glad to be using my body and feeling confident. So let's go to, um, you can use this tool in all kinds of different ways, but the more you use it, the more it becomes um, part of who you are. So think about maybe a friend that has something that you desire and see if you can't imagine yourself kind of borrowing that energy, kind of imagining that feeling. Like I have this one friend who's just so giggly. She just laughs at everything and she's just filled with such enthusiasm and joy. So I may think of her before I go to a party um, and just kind of get into that joyful, happy mood. Uh, you can see, and I've seen it with clients, I've seen it with myself, just by focusing your thoughts, your energy in a different way, you can change the mood. This is, this, even though it is so simple, this is powerful stuff. So once again, take a nice comfortable breath. And as you exhale, just feel this beautiful wave of physical relaxation. See if you can't think of that energy that you'd like to tap into of a friend. And almost it's like you get to become that energy. You get to borrow it. I've used this with people with sports improvement where they imagine they were one of their favorite idols and their, their game, whether it was golf or pool, jumped up. Uh, so I think what I'll do now is just kind of open up for any questions. If people want more clarity on how to use this, do we have any questions uh, among the audience? Do you think this is going to be a useful tool? So that's brilliant, um, Sharon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So guys, if you've got any um, questions for Sharon, then yeah, look, there, Joe's saying very thank, uh, very thank you, very useful, which is fantastic. And guys, if you've got any questions for Sharon, please whack them down and we will get them answered right at the very end. Um, but well, yeah, and just Lauren, to kind of sum you. it up, uh, in the import right. empowerment portal, uh, what I offer up is just different ways to release that stress. I give meditation hypnosis, which to me is the most powerful tool 
to overcome that resistance, to melt it away and to soak up new beliefs. So it's, it's a life changer. So thank you for um, listening in, all you beautiful souls. Oh, I love it, Sharon. And you've made me feel more relaxed and calm about me doing my bit. So I'm glad that you went before me. <laughs> <laughs> and during your, your talk, you can take a few breaths and go to that confident, centered, beautiful space. Just so easy. It's our right to feel good and really our natural state. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, Suzanne says, fabulous. I'm feeling really relaxed with what I tapped into. So that's really wonderful. Oh, good. Thank you very, very much. Um, okay, so now it is uh, time for my um, kind of little bit, really. Um, so I'm Laura Ash, as you already know, you've already met me um, this evening. Um, and, you know, my role, as I said, I come from a police background, so I understand what it's like to be a busy kind of woman in a very male orientated world. And, you know, it really is my passion, along with my husband, who's kind of sat downstairs doing whatever, um, we own Rock Solid, is to help empower and transform, um, you know, people's lives, women's lives, so that you can just feel happier in yourself feel healthier in yourself because none of us can afford to take a sick day you know we've got people on here who are self-employed right we've got people on here who are in you know jobs and none of us can afford to take a sick day so what I want to do today um, guys is just share with you some really practical six tips okay on how to be healthier right um, because if we feel the best in ourselves, then our performance is gonna be better. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. These six small things, is it gonna change your life in one day? Probably not. But it's a damn sight better than sporadically going to the gym and attempting to healthy eat and then not doing it, right? These six small things, it doesn't matter the magnitude of the thing that you do, just that you do something and it's what that something will spring towards. Now it's about, you know this, taking ownership, but it's not just taking ownership, it's making it simple. It's making it satisfying so that something can be sustainable. And these little six tips are so easy for you. They're going to take a minute each day. And once you compound them and stack them up, the results show. OK, it's like saving a pound or a dollar every day for the year. By the end of the year, you've got three hundred and sixty five pounds or, or three hundred sixty five dollars. Or if it's a leap year, three hundred and sixty six. Right. <laughs> OK, so let me share these with you so that you can get them. So pen and paper handy get ready number one the first thing water okay what i want you guys to do is consider getting up in the morning and just having a glass of water that's it just having a glass of water in the morning what that's going to do is it's going to cleanse your system from the night before because we've sat with toxins before you get your caffeine down you, which I do like a cup of tea in the morning. Just have one glass of water because what that's going to do is it's simple, it's satisfying and it's something that's going to kick your day off. OK, so that's my number one tip. One glass of water, which will take you one minute, maybe 10 seconds if you neck it. OK. <laughs> The second one, which Sharon has been talking about, breathe. Take one minute a day just to focus on your breath. And when you do that, the reason that I put this one in is because we spend so much of our time in our head getting anxious, getting overwhelmed, and we can't hear the inner wisdom that we need to listen to to take us forward. Now, Oprah's one of my heroes, and she always says the best thing to ask yourself is what's the next best thing for me to do right now? So when you take that minute, just sit, breathe, 
clear everything feel your body with that energy that they all deserve and then you can just ask that question and then you can get on with the rest of your day and joe yes absolutely whack some lemon it that's all good i currently have lemon in my drink bottle at the moment so um number three do a workout now this is going to sound crazy okay <laughs> but all i'm going to ask you to do is raise your heart rate for one minute one minute that's all it takes right again because you might be sat at your desk right and you might be full of like stagnant energy so just raise your heart rate for one minute get up do some star jumps run around whatever you need to do to get that heart rate up you want to walk up and down the stairs just do one minute the next one is focused around food now ladies I'm a nightmare for this. When I was in the police, there was donuts. It is a cliche, but it does happen. And there are gonna be treats and sweets out that maybe you don't wanna be going towards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you this tip. You see, we have a situation and then we have a reaction. And usually our reaction is quick to go for the cookie or the cake or whatever it is. So what I want you to do is just one minute. I want you to put one minute between the, the situation and the decision. Because then that gives you a bit of breathing space, okay? So that's my second tip. Uh, my fourth tip. My fifth one is kindness. Now, all too often, we can spend a bit of time in negativity and we can get overwhelmed with stress and anxiety. But when we think about kindness... We can think about perhaps someone who has been kind to us or perhaps someone who we have been kind to. And what that does is it fills your body with that feeling of love and that feeling of kindness that just makes you feel good. You have a better outlook on things, a more positive outlook. And my sixth one is a to-do list. I love a list, okay? But the reason I'm putting this one in is just before you go to bed at night, take a minute just to mine's downstairs at the moment so i can't show you just to write down what you need to do the next day and this is so important so that you can go to bed and you can let go of the baggage that you have held on to throughout the day so you can go and you can get into that deep restful sleep state that you need to be able to recover for the actual um, day that you've had. Now, as I say, are these gonna change your life in one minute? No, not really. However, if you are consistent and persistent and you implement these simple, satisfying, sustainable things, your well-being over time will be improved because that's what this is about. It's about improving your well-being by what we call osmosis, drip fed, one at a time, one at a time. So guys, that's my little thing. And in the portal, like the other guys have said, there is more of this kind of stuff. In actual fact, I'm actually giving away some of our, our paid programs in the portal um, that Barry and I have put together. We've also got chair workouts in there um, and other bits, bits and pieces. So Jane, you are more than welcome because it's all about being achievable. We all want to win, right? So that then first of all round of applause to our wonderful contributors thank you very much if you have any questions whack them down um and um you know let us know what they are so and we can answer them in a minute so first of all we've had a couple of questions about how how can we join the portal so first of all i think we need to help you guys understand what the portal actually is so let me see if i can share my screen bear with me if i can share my screen uh okay share fantastic awesome so we heard from sharon and joe and sharon and myself cool so the portal what is it then and what is it all about so the portal is basically there to help to bring together experts like myself, Sharon, Joe, and the other beautiful Sharon. Um, it's there to be able to bring everybody together. We focus on five different areas. We've got 
um, business launching. So if you're starting out in a business, we've got career coaching, leadership, mental wellness, and physical wellness in there to help you with all of these things that we have just talked about today. Um, and really, we have, I think I said we've got 25 coaches in there. Is that right, ladies? I think it's 25 coaches that we've got in there to basically help to empower you guys to do whatever it is that you most need to do. Because we all know the stresses. We all know what it feels like to be on our own. When I was in the police, when I've worked there within that um, environment, it's very easy to feel like you're on your own. Being self-employed, it's very easy to feel like you're being on your own. But Sabina's put together the empowerment portal to be able to bring together so many different coaches, career coaches, startup coaches, relationship, parental, stress management, self-confidence, all to help you be the leader that you need to be. We heard from um, Joe who said that it will be the Western woman who saves the world from the Dalai Lama. And I truly do believe this. And that is why this portal is so important to be able to bring people together to collaborate so that we don't have to do this on our own. But also the the other reason that this has come together is to be able to help within corporate settings. And I know Sharon can expand a bit more on that because that is not my forte. I will absolutely um, admit to that. <laughs> I'm more kind of um, self-employed side. But you can see that we have these different areas within the actual portal. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to invite Sharon um, just to talk about the... Um, corporate side of it and how it might benefit a corporate setting because i know we've got a few people from um, learning and development here so sharon do you want to explain that side of it absolutely and there's um it's really interesting because the one thing that happens in corporate is you get in there and you modify everything you modify the way you do things you modify the way you are the way you are being um, when you're in that environment, you're taught to focus, 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 focus. And as women, we are diffuse aware and we don't focus really well. So when you have that energy of results, 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 focus, 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 it can be exhausting. Um, I used to go home tired every day and I used to sleep my weekends away when I was in corporate because my energy was draining because um, that type of energy requires testosterone we have 16 times less in our bodies than most men. <clears throat> and so we're using our adrenaline and we're getting adrenal gland burnout and health issues. So really, really important to understand taking care of ourselves first and foremost is one of the absolute requirements for us to maintain in our shift. As we start to shift and um, solve the problems of the world, because we will, uh, that's just who we are. We love helping people <clears throat> as we shift to that and as we shift to more feminine forms of power and using our feminine energy, we need to be able to hold space. We need to be able to hold our boundaries um, in the, the midst of battle coming at us all the time. <laughs> yes, I, I get it, Sarah. I totally get it. <laughs> and having actually had a target on my back with a, a man shooting arrows at me constantly for two years. Uh, I, I totally understand being in that toxic masculine dominated environment that we've been in and shifting into a state of being and beingness of feminine in that environment. They actually can't hit a target on your back because you're not there anymore. <laughs> you're not in the same place. You're not in the same space. They don't know how to fight it. Um, and so it's really uh, important that we encourage each other and we support each other, that we support our own health in the first place. And the ladies that are on the call today, Sharon Svensson, Joe, and Laura have, have absolutely fabulous techniques, um, as well as many of the other 25 uh, contributors to the portal have fabulous techniques to help solve that first and foremost problem of 
staying in our state of what we value most in the world. And we do that by helping sustain ourself and our energy in being nest of who we are as women. Hopefully that helps. That's perfect. Thank you so much. And to be honest with you, I wish that I had something like this around mm. when I was um, <laughs> the police and also, you know, starting up my business. I mean, luckily I found this now and I've got a network of 25 beautiful coaches that I can get help from, but also everybody else that's in the portal as well, because I think one of the beauties is, is learning within that group environment, to be honest with you. So um, you might want to be able to join up we have different options so there's three different packages you've got the light option you've got a medium option then you've got the vip option and i believe that um sabine is doing a special offer uh, off the back of this webinar as a black friday sale and you know the price you pay will be lifetime membership so there's no paying any more money it's just one sum and that's it and you're in basically um, but what I will do is I will put the link up um, in the uh, group here so that you can go and you can have a look at the um, web page you can listen to Sabine our wonderful leader speak about this um, and you can have a look and you can sign up for it and as, as we said that is a one-time fee for you. If you want to talk about a corporate setting and getting a license for this, then what I would recommend, oh, Sabine's done it, there we go. What I would recommend is that you book a call with Sabine so that you can actually talk to her about how the portal can actually be integrated into your business to help your people. Because at the end of the day, all businesses are about people. Right, and if we're looking after our people, looking after ourselves, then our businesses will flourish. I know personally, you know, working with business women, how when they start to look after themselves, their work life excels. So, there you go. Um, so hopefully, that's given you a little bit of uh information on that. So, what we'll do now is, um, ladies, we'll open up um, the, uh, the ground to question and answer. Um, we've got about 10 minutes. Um, what would you like to know? Would you like to know more stuff from um, Sharon? Um, Sharon, do we have any questions that have come in, um, darling, at all? Yeah, so we've got um, uh, three, of course, the how to access the portal, which Sabine has put the, the links there, as well as to uh, the links to book a call uh, to ask more information. We also had a question on leading from the middle and what are the challenges of leading from the middle? This is a question that I'm well familiar with in the corporate space. Um, I actually ended up coming in as a management consultant into the last many organizations that I was working with. And if that's not leading from the middle, that's um, it's, it's pretty much on the edge there because you had to lead by influence, not any direct authority or accountability. Uh, so it's, it's uh, leading by influence can be done, can be done with both masculine and feminine forms of energy. And as long as you take care of yourself and your team members and appreciate, listen and learn, um, come with a good sense of curiosity, then your influence is going to grow and your reach is going to grow uh, as well as your credibility. So just a small tip there um, for that question. Um, the other question was for Sharon Svensson on the technique that you shared with us. Can you do this anywhere and how long do you need? Those are good questions. Um, I think Carol asked those a uh, fellow coach and friend. Uh, yeah, that the more you use it, the more it's going to become a tool that you can use. Uh, so just like Laura was saying, is this going to change your life right away? Well, it can definitely bring in some softness, but for the big changes, you have to utilize it over time. So I love some of the things that, that Laura said too, that just by going to different thoughts, you can actually change your perspective. So you can go to a thought about a friend who loves you and you can actually feel that sense of softness and love. Uh, that uh, you can use it for any kind of situation, but 
it's it's like learning to drive a car. You wouldn't go out into um, a rush hour traffic to first learn your skills. So I say to people, start to do this early in the morning where you already have kind of a good momentum going. Let's say you follow Laura's tips and um, you take the time before you drink water to just Uh, you pre-pave the way uh, before a party where you kind of feel like, oh, I don't really know if I want to go, but I have to go because she went to mine and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, you can go to that uh, maybe confident energy or having fun energy, and that can take you to a place of kind of revving you up so that you can go. Um, I've... Um, of course, to me, there, th this breath work is like little mini meditations, and it can be wonderful if you go deeper, and that's what my work does, and do meditations to, it's so that um, this is kind of like it can help remind you of the joy, your inner truth, uh, the wisdom that you have within. So yes, it can be very powerful. I've seen people that have used it a hundred times uh, a day. This one woman talked about how she's like, oh my gosh, Sharon, my commute to Boise, which is about an hour and a half away from where I live, is completely different. But she said, um, uh, but it's taking me an extra hour to get to Boise. And I'm like, what? And she said, well, I'm stopping every time to use it because she she close her eyes. It's like, oh, you can, you can do this technique with your eyes open so that you could be at work in a stressful situation and just, <sighs> that's all they see. Um, so that you, the, the more you kind of associate those positive feelings, the more you can go to those feelings with that breath. So does question. that answer the question? Carol? Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that's, that's awesome. Um, Joe, I also had a question for you around numerology. Lately, I've been kind of exploring our four letter words <laughs> that we have. We, we have a whole series of them, work being one of the key ones. And one of my goals is to shift our four letter word thinking from work to play. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to be, oh, my pen's run out the minute I'm trying. <laughs> so, right, so let me work out. So when you change your name, you change your life. So every word has a numeric energy. So I'm just working it out. I'm a bit like a spiritual Carol Vorderman, if people know. In the UK, she's like, there's numbers. So one sec, I just need my calculator, and then I'll just be able to share a bit on that. Awesome. So, um, so the word play, P is seven, L is three, A is one, and Y is seven, okay? So this is the way I'd come at it. So yes, so it's got four letters, play, work has got four letters, four is all about structure, control, routine, systems, okay? So the play piece is nine, and, and in the nine, the energy of nine, a good way to do it is to look at the tarot. So the nine is the hermit, and the hermit is shedding, sh um, shining a light for other people. The nine is all about looking after you because a nine has to make life about other people. So with this play energy, you need self-care, but you need boundaries, but you need to shine a light for other people. So I need to look at it more, but really that's perfect. Yeah, so that's top line, but it will go a lot deeper. Every word has a connection. So then let me look at work. I love I love that question. The work is 22. Oh my God. And 22 is a master number. So we've got, we've got 1 to 9, 11 and 22 and 33. So master numbers are 
no number is better than any other number, but if you're working with the energy of a master number, you've got the ability to go beyond. So if your name is a V, you're born on the 22nd or you're a 22, and our work is 22. So this is, when we work, we need to be the architect of change. We're all here to change the world one person at a time, but instead of seeing it as all oh, work, we've got to see how can I change my world? How can I change other people's world? How can I go beyond? Does that make sense? That's awesome, Joe. Thank you very much. It's only <laughs> top line, you know, I could go on forever. Yeah, no, no, for sure. You do, we don't have time to go into it in great depth. But it just gives you an idea. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And Laura, we'll turn it back over to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sharon. I really appreciate it. So ladies, we are just within the closing few minutes of um, this webinar. Um, I would really love to know from you all, what would be your one takeaway, your one thing that maybe you've taken from sitting for the past 57 minutes from this webinar? We always say you'll either get a revelation, a confirmation, or a light bulb moment. So have you had any of those? We'd absolutely love to hear. Um, we've got 16 ladies on here now. So just share with us what maybe your revelation, your confirmation, or even your uh, light bulb moment was. Something you've taken away that um, you're like, actually, yeah, that was useful. That was worth me sitting here and listening for the past 57 minutes um so yeah what would they be um so joe from joe all three thank you i thought your uh number thing was amazing it was it was really really good um so that was fantastic i really really did appreciate that uh christina says i like the simplicity of the six tips laura shared thank you more than welcome um joe says loved your six tips i loved your um numerology numerology <laughs> i find that so interesting um so i really appreciate that sabine says i loved all your talks each had a different idea and combined i think it's great for christmas uh, sharon says i love the drink a glass of water idea more of that throughout the day please absolutely um sharon shannon says i love laura's tips they're easy to implement and diane says love the listening from the heart totally agree with you um shannon says i'm a big fan of numerology and use it daily oh there you go um noreen says loved all your talks keep sharing your wonderful gifts thank you noreen and sarah said simplicity of the sixth uh, six and breathe more to help stress want to investigate the whole toxic work environment more well um sorry you know where you need to go my love <laughs> uh, suzanne said love them all they had great synergy all gave us brilliant things to take away and deborah said loved it all and thank you so much and no we have to thank you ladies because you've turned up here um, you've taken an hour and it's been an absolute pleasure to first of all spend the hour with you guys but more importantly you know to have spent the hour with our contributors on the empowerment portal and just give you a taster of what it's like on the inside really this is the kind of stuff we're talking about so um sharon um bowls i just want a massive thank you very much Thank you very much. I really appreciate your talk. I know a lot of people got something from it. Sharon Svetson, uh, breathe. I loved it. Thank you very much. Absolutely fantastic. And Joe, I will be thinking more about numbers and all that kind of stuff. So, and also thank you very much to Sabine for allowing us this platform to be able to talk upon. Ladies, you have the link if you need to um, go and see more about the portal. Um, I would suggest you do. What have you got to lose? It's a lifetime offer to be around all of this empowerment, all of this um, information, because together we can do it better, 100%. So guys, I'm going to end this now, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a smashing 2020.